Hi, everybody. Um, Amanda Smith, Kevin Tully. We're here at A. Smith Gallery, and we're going to talk about She, which is the online exhibit that um, is up right now. Um, she was stirred by Sandra Chen Weinstein, and she had about 700 images to select from. And from those 700 images, she picked 55. And then from those 55, Kevin and I selected 27 for 27, the book. So I'm gonna just show you what some of these little books are that we've been um, making. This is just a little exhibition catalog that has all 55 images in it. This one's for trees. We haven't, we haven't finished she yet, it's almost done. Um, that's what this is. And anyone that gets in um, is accepted in those 55, well, we send them one of these. And that's what that looks like. And cool. we're really excited <clears throat> because from the 55, we have 27 that are selected for the 27. Let's see if we can get a better angle on it. Yeah. There we go. So we have our first book here. This is from the light exhibit. And you want to show them how that works. So it's in a little slip case. Which is this. Which is this. And then. There's the book. There's the book. And this was made by the wonderful bookmaker Jace Graff in Austin. Do you want to open it up a little bit? Yeah. So the 27 images are in here. It's a limited edition book and they're all signed and numbered. And that's somewhere back here. <laughs> yes, somewhere back here. You'll never find it. <clears throat> it's got the juror's statement. It's got the director's statement and so the signature page there's Alan smith's signature amanda smith <laughs> and kevin tully look at that isn't that something <laughs> so every one of them is going to be a little bit different the covers will be different colors but, but they, um, tur they turned out really yeah. cool yeah we're really yeah. excited so anyway more to come on that for she so our juror was sandra chen weinstein and kevin's got a little bio here of sandra he's going to read us Sandra Chen Weinstein is a photographer, ceramist, collector, and independent curator. Born in Taiwan, she has worked and lived in DC, Japan, China for the American Agency, and traveled for photo works to Europe, Middle East, Turkey, South Korea, Japan, and India. Sandra currently resides in Southern California and DC. Early in her photo career in 2009, she was chosen as the only American photographer among hundreds of applicants for Magnum master classes in the Netherlands and in London, England. Sandra's photography has received many outstanding national and international awards, including Center Director's First Place Award. Her works have been exhibited in the Museum of Modern, in the Museum of Modern Art, the Museum of Fine Art, Washington County, Aperture Gallery, Annenberg Space. Uh, I think it's Annenberg Photography of Space, I think. Florida Museum of Photographic Art, the Griffin Museum of Photography, the Longview Museum of Fine Art, the Museum of the Big Bend, as well as Invitational and International Exhibitions, including Mirage Gallery in Japan, Head on Photo Fest, Ballart Photo Biennale in Australia, Auckland Festival for Photography in New Zealand, Hangyao, I think that's how you say that, <laughs> Photo Festival in China, and SKM International Photo Festival in Taiwan, in Taiwan among many others. Her work is in several private collections, including the Garden, the Gordon Parks Foundation. Excellent. She's no stranger to the gallery. She's been in numerous of our exhibits mm -hmm. over the years. We've done her for a long time. She's been here many times. Sandra's a wonderful person. Yes, she is. <clears throat> we were really happy to have her. And a very good photographer. She is, definitely. Um, so she had about 700 images to choose from. And we're going to look at the 55 that she selected. Are you ready, Kevin? Yeah, let's do a screen. So share. we're going to do a screen share here. If yeah. all goes well. Okay. There we go. Oh. All right. Thank you. So the first image we have here is by Beverly Connolly. Um, Beverly lives in Benicia, California. And this image received the Jurors Award. Um, the title of this image is Woman Plucking a Chicken. Um, Beverly's going to have a solo show here in a couple of months. I'm going to go next. And the next image we have is another one by Beverly. And this image is called uh, Romany Star. <laughs> Lots of pictures of her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and next we have an image 
by um, Amy McCrory from Houston, Texas. Uh, this is called Lost. This image is also in the 27. I think this is part of her her series with her. She's photographing her husband also. Is that right? She is. It's, it's, a, a, it's, it's a great a, series. Yeah. It's a family. I don't, what's the word for it? Um, a family affair? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, we need to move on, I think. Okay, thank you, Amy. <laughs> uh, this image is called Chicken Steak Seafood. It's by Jason Tannen. He lives in uh, Chico, California. He's also part of this 27. Then we have, oh wait, I'm sorry. Go back to his, please. Okay. He actually sent us some uh, information about this image. <clears throat> I've, I've asked everyone to send us information about their image and he did, can you read it? He did respond. So Kevin's gonna read what he said. Chicken steak seafood. Okay, an ongoing inspiration for my photography has been film noir, a genre of film from the 1940s and 50s, usually shot in black and white, set in the urban jungle and featuring an overall mood of mystery, anxiety, and anticipation. I've sought to capture and photograph some of my emotional response to film noir, stylized urban landscapes, figures frozen in time, and a pervading atmosphere of mystery and foreboding. My interest in film extends to the type of images created for this series, using the basics of cinematic form, establishing reaction and cutaway shots. As a result, these images can be sequenced to suggest any number of dark narratives. I incorporate these images into a short narrative film, The Pressman Negatives, which can be viewed by searching YouTube for Jason Tannen Pressman Negatives. All right, yeah, it, yeah. He, he, that works. He nailed it. He nailed it, <laughs> he yeah. He definitely nailed it. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, next, this image is by Robert Vanderhilst. Uh, Robert lives in Alicio Viejo, California. And the title of this image is Cuban Interior Number 47. And this image is by, oh boy, uh, Mitchell. You wanna see it, Kevin? Mitchell Kanaskovich. <laughs> Sorry, Mitchell. Uh, he also lives in Aliso Viejo, California. What are you, you calling that town? Oh, it is Aliso Viejo. Okay. Oh, thank you, Kevin. Well, I'm thinking there's a ranch of Viejo also. Yes, there is. Um, it, they must be neighbors. Could be. They, yeah. I think they are. Uh, anyway, this is entitled Girl in the Car. It's beautiful. And this is another one by Robert Vanderhills. And this one is called Chinese Interior Number 13. That's pretty. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Then we have an image, actually two images, um, by Don Russell. This particular one um, is in the 27. He lives in McKinney, Texas. And this one, uh, um, the title of this is Michelle Bacchus Barrel Racer. Great shot. Yeah. And this is also Don Russell's image. It's called Isis. 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 Okay, I'll go with that. Look at that attitude there, boy. I think he goes to rodeos and photographs. Yeah. yeah. Um, this image is by Denise Laura. I don't know if you want to say that one. Laura Natus or not Laura Natus. Okay, Laura Natus. Uh, she lives in New York, and this is called Embrace. This image is by Mara Zaslov. Mara's have many images um, in the gallery over the years. This is called In Her Youth. She lives, um, she lives in Santa Monica, California. Wow. She's got a whole body of work around this woman. That's quite nice. Um, this image is by Vanessa Bricci. She lives in Germany. Uh, this is part of the 27. And this image is called Island of Blessed. And she's got, she wrote some words about her image. Would you like to read yes. that? <clears throat> the image is part of the Never Smile series, which is inspired by people's reactions to the fact that even, a even as a child, smiling caused the skin around my eyes to wrinkle considerably. I often heard you're going to get old too soon and never smile. That way you avoid expression wrinkles. This project came from my realization that we are frequently concerned with the evidence of time on our skin 
but often forget the fragility of life. It represents angst and attempts to escape the passage of time, and yet it objects to these feelings. My sonnet to the beauty of marks and imperfections. Wow. Yeah, wow. Cool. Okay, so this image <clears throat> is by, oh, I'm going to mess up your name, Sudha Basavaraja. Like that? Suda Basi Barrage. Okay, that was close. Um, anyway, um, lives in um, Sugarland, Texas, and the title of this is Self Reflection. It's a gorgeous image. Yeah, yeah. Then we have an image <clears throat> by Bill Shoemaker. He lives in Portland, Maine. Um, this is entitled Barrier, and it is part of the 27. This image is by good old Aubrey Guthrie. Uh, the title of this image is Dreams. Aubrey lives in Hearst, Texas, but he spends a lot of time in Louisiana. Um, he is part of the 27 too. It's an icon image. Nice shot, Aubrey. <clears throat> so this image is also part of the 27. Uh, it's by uh, Felice Boche, and she lives in Brunswick, Maine. And the title of this is For Love. We just happen to know we did talk to her, and this is her granddaughter. She just consistently makes beautiful portraits. Yeah. She, Felice and her granddaughter. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, she's a great subject. <clears throat> <clears throat> this image is by Cheryl Clegg. This happens to be Cheryl's daughter. Um, it's called Downey's Fog. It's also part of the 27, and it's, she's from Waltham, Massachusetts. Gorgeous. Um, next, we have an, um, an image by um, Anne Procillo. She's from San Francisco, California. This one is part of the 27. It's called Censored. And you can kind of see why. And I did have to kind of censor that a little bit. Sorry. Interesting. Yeah, I love that image. This image is by Elizabeth Kale. Elizabeth lives in Fort Collins, Colorado. It's called In Her Head. This is a self-portrait. And then this is an image by Dale Niles. Dale lives in Fayetteville, Cal uh, sorry. California? Yeah. They moved, obviously. They moved. <laughs> she didn't even know it. <laughs> Fayetteville, Georgia. Um, it's called Under the Waxing Moon, and it is um, part of the 27. That's a nice shot. Yeah, I love that. This image is also part of the 27. It's by Catherine uh, Carter. She lives in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, and it's called Shed. Very nice. This is an image by Gordon Saparia. He lives in Western uh, Weston, Massachusetts. It's called Victoria Has No Secrets. I love that title. It's a great image. It's an image by Lori Pond. Um, it is a wet plate collodion. Uh, Lori lives in uh, Los Angeles, California. It's called Come Fly Away, and it is part of the 27. Interesting. Yeah, I love yeah. that image. This one is by Daniel Haker. He lives in Germany. It's called The Oracle. A beautiful image. Are they poppies? Are they poppies? Uh -huh. <clears throat> um, this image is by John Deephouse. Uh, he lives in Lansing, Michigan. It's called Emerging from the Shadows. John has had many images in the gallery before. Lovely. This is by Deborah Cole. Deborah lives right down the road from us in Austin, although this was taken in Oaxaca. Oaxaca. I yeah, think, yeah, I think it was too. During Day of the Dead. <clears throat> uh, the title of the image is Black and White. And it is part of the 27. Nice. Oh, she wrote something. Oh, she did? She did. It's this part right uh, here. As a street photographer, always fearful that I will miss the next good shot. I move around way too much. It's a bad habit I work to lose. In this photo at night in Oaxaca during Day of the Dead celebrations, I saw the obvious. A beautiful woman in her DOTD costume Oh, Day of the Dead costume, <laughs> standing on the wall. 
I took a few shots, then lowered my camera. I waited for about three minutes until a little girl playing nearby walked closer and into a possible frame. At that point, I raised my camera again and got a couple of images before the little girl ran away. Patience is always a virtue. <laughs> That's very true. Yeah. That's great. <clears throat> so this image is by uh, Celine Hartwig. She lives in Iowa City, Iowa. It is called Joanna Shows Herself. Wow. I know it's a little scary. Uh, this image is by Marsha Guggenheim. Uh, it's part of the 27, and the title of it is Mom. Um, Marsha lives in San Francisco, California. We got to talk to her, too, and she's got a really nice series that this is part of. You know, all of these people, or a lot of these people, have websites, so, you know, go and, go and check out their work. There's a lot more to be seen. Uh, this image is it's just beautiful. I love this image. This is by um, Hank Audier. He lives in San Antonio, Texas, which is right down the road from us. It's called Sue Back Porch, and it is part of the 27. Which is beautiful. I love the toning in that. Yeah, it's got a real classical look to it. Yeah. So this is by Cynthia mm. Morgan. Cynthia lives in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, it's called Portrait of Innocence Number 7, and it is part of the 27. Cool. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. Uh, this is an image by Nancy Sherrill. Um, <laughs> the title of it is, uh, wait a minute, I'll find it in a minute. Um, the Extrovert, Dining Alone in the Company of Solitude. So Nancy has, she lives in New York, and Nancy has a new book out called Dining Alone in the Company of Solitude. This is one of the images from that book. So go on her website and check it out and and buy it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's very cool. I, I love the look on that woman's face. <laughs> Both of them, actually. <laughs> um, this image is by Linda Briskin. She lives in Toronto, Canada. Um, the title of the image is Fractured. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> so this image is by um, Lawrence Rush. Um, Larry has been, he's been in numerous things around the gallery since the beginning of time. Um, <clears throat> he's from Southport, Connecticut. He uses his wife a lot as his model, and that's who that is. And the title of this is Dream of the Playground Melting in Tonight. Interesting. I think they have a good time. <laughs> so this image is by Nina Weinberg Doran. Um, it's called Hydrangeas. She lives in Mount, Mount Kisco, New York. Nice. This one is by Paula Goodbar. Paula lives in Eugene, Oregon. And the title of this is Determination. And if you really look at that woman, this is like the perfect title for that image. Yes, it is. This one also has a perfect title too. It's called Conjuring. And uh, it's by Jacqueline Asplund. And she lives in Delray Beach, Florida. Um, it's part of the 27. Nice lighting. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> well, you got to kind of smile when you see this. Uh, this is by Rowing Weems. She lives in Westport, Connecticut. It's called Just Another Day in Paradise. Yeah. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. <laughs> so this is by Veronica Gray. Veronica lives in Laguna Beach, California. It's um, entitled She, number nine. And she did write something about this. I'm going to read that, Kevin. She, number nine, the woman from Ethiopia, was taken during a brief stop while driving from Lalabella to Gondar, Ethiopia. The making of the photograph could have been easily missed if I had not been seen. She, she number nine, is in all of us. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Especially today. Yeah. Wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so next we have an image by Matt Sims. He lives in Grapevine, Texas. It's called Tibetan Woman, Tibetan Mother's Journey. Wow. She goes She's got a long, long way, way to go. go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love this one. Yeah, I love this too. This is by Emily Buckley. It's called Self Portrait Exhaustion. She lives in Denver, Colorado. Boy, I've been there before. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> 
so this is by um, Susan Pedersen Leiden. She lives in Woodside, California. It's called Amore. It's just yeah, a beautiful image. Really nice. <laughs> this one makes me smile too. Uh, this is by Robin Z. Boger. She lives in Newton, Massachusetts. And the title of it is My Beauty Is. I wish we had the poem that goes along with this. Yeah, she didn't seem to be this image is by Rose Wind Jerome. She lives in Black Mountain, North Carolina. It is called uh, Mother and Daughter from the series Black Mountain 2019. This is part of the 27. That's beautiful. Yeah. This image, also part of the 27, is by Francis Crisofio. He lives in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and it's called Marsha's Back Number Two. Cool. Wow. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. <clears throat> this image is by Walt Duddington. He lives in Beaverton, Oregon. It is part of the 27. And the title of it is Offering. And I had to do a little work on that. Sorry. <clears throat> this image is by Katie Golovic. Katie lives in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. It is untitled. Beautiful. This image is by Leanne Trivet S. It's called Facing It. <clears throat> Leanne lives in Johnson City, Tennessee, which is our sister city. And she that is part of the 27. Leanne's been hitting a lot of home runs lately. She's been producing some really nice work. Yeah, Leanne's good. This is by Ronald Butler. Um, oh, wait, go back. Go back to Leanne's, please. She has something to read. She does. I'm sorry. Okay, let's start right there. I took it on one of the trips, one of the trips to Iceland. It was February and it was freezing cold. My friend was brave to get in that water and made it a magical day. Damn right. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, so next we have an image by Ronald Butler. Ronald's been around the gallery forever too. Um, Ronald lives in New York, New York. This is entitled Insomnia. It is part of the 27, and he did write something. The model is Allie Parsons. She is, was my late son's girlfriend. We were spending time together after JD's passing in a photo session of all. I named this image Insomnia because I think we captured that sleeplessness, futility, and lurking subconsciousness that happens in grief. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. So this image is by Linda Morrow. She lives in Long Beach, California. It's called Intaglio. And she did write something about this too, right there. Intaglio is a word that means tattoo in Italian. It is a shadow from the leaves of an aspen tree in Santa Fe that formed this image. My model was Margaret Pegg, who is my longtime partner and collaborator. We had rented a charming casita that summer, and I made photographs in the garden every afternoon. That's really Very beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this image is by Lisa <clears throat> Maxwell Cochran. Lisa lives in San Rafael, California. It is untitled. I think we got some infrared going on there. Nice. Yeah. So this image, we um, Kevin and I gave the director's award to. It's by Leslie Nellen Blessing. Leslie lives down the road from us in Austin, Texas. It's part of the 27. It's entitled Floating Twin Elements. Now, I would really like to see this for real. It's a platinum palladium print on vellum with um, gilded with silver leaf. And it's like 20, it's 20 by 20. I bet it's just really stunning. Yeah, I bet it yeah. is too. I just, I, I just love the fact that they're suspended. And then these expressions. <laughs> Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. Very nice. <clears throat> and then we have that expression. Yeah. <laughs> this is called Growing Up. It's by Norman Aragons. He lives in San Jose, California. And this is part of the 27 too. I can't figure out if she got mad and threw all that around or it was just there and she's disgusted. What do you think? I have no idea. No, neither. 
I think her castle fell over. Though. I think her castle fell over. Yeah. Uh, this image is by Kevin uh, Batcher. He lives in Eatonville, Washington. And the title of this is You Have No Power Over Me. Wow. Yeah. No doubt about that. Yeah. So this is entitled Memorial Day on Cloverleaf. It's by Justice Wayne Thomas, who lives in Nashville, Tennessee, and it is part of the 27. Great shot. Yeah. I wonder if that was part of his trip when they did the Mississippi trip. That was part of that group of photographs. He floated down the Mississippi on a raft. Yeah. If you're wondering what Kevin's talking yeah. about, but that was like well, that's 30 a, years well, ago. Well, that car looked. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Wait a minute. Okay. Look at all the cars. That, yeah, okay. it is. Okay. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> And last but not least, this is an image by Marion uh, Rubin, who's had numerous things in the gallery over the years. Uh, she lives in Montclair, New Jersey, and it's called the Pearl Earring. Uh, she discovered her iPhone as a camera, and she uses it predominantly now. And this, I love this image. I just I love this image. Right. Everything about it, the sunglasses, the earring, the hairdo. I mean, it's just all great. Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Well, in case you notice, this is also our 12th anniversary exhibition and celebration, and we're going to celebrate, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we'd like to thank everybody for the past 12 years of everything. I mean, it's all been great. We've had so much fun hanging exhibits and looking at exhibits and talking to photographers and meeting new people. What else? Especially the meeting new people Meet and talking to photographers. <laughs> Yeah, it's we, all it's been, been really wonderful good. having people come in the gallery and, and uh, going to dinner with us and uh, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, no, you can take it off share. If you oh, want sorry. To. That's Izzy, our cat. It's also her birthday. It's her 12th birthday to go along with our 12th anniversary. Anyway, <laughs> anything else you got to say? Well, pull that book out again. We got to show people that again. We can't okay. just. <laughs> there you go. It's very cool. <laughs> It's very, mm -hmm. very cool. Jace did a really wonderful job. He also made a book for Linda Mara, who's in work we just showed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One more time. <laughs> there it is inside. <laughs> anyway, there'll be more about that. <laughs> there'll be more about that. Here's the slip case that it goes in, <laughs> which is very, very cool also. So, And then as, as its name implies, you just slip it in. Look at that. <laughs> I think it may be time for us to go. <laughs> and I haven't even been drinking. Yet. I know. <laughs> okay. Thank y'all very yeah, much. Yeah, thank we you for everything. Yeah, we really appreciate it. Bye-bye. Thanks. <laughs>